Hi everybody, this video is to explain to you how to do the Delta Math exercises um, called Plot Points and Graph Line, No Table Given. So they actually in their instructions say use technology to find points and graph the line, you know, and then they give you an equation. I say you are not going to use technology, you are going to use a pencil and paper. This is a really important skill, and it's one that the algebra teachers at Hanover High requested specifically. Um, so I'm going to have you do it this way, and it's a lot easier, honestly, than using technology. Okay, so the way to do this is first to make a table for x and y values. And what you're going to do is you're going to pick x values, and then you're going to figure out what the corresponding y values are um, given your equation that you have. So the x values you should pick should be these ones. These are the easiest ones to use. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So you've chosen your x values. Now what you need to do is you need to plug these values into your equation and figure out what the corresponding y is. So the first one is going to be um, y equals negative 6 times negative 2 plus 2. Okay, so I, what I did was I took the negative 2 and I substituted it in where I saw the x. So uh, that's going to make 12 plus 2, which is going to be 14. So the y that corresponds to negative 2, of uh, x being negative 2, is going to be 14, right? And I'm just going to do that with all these other values also. Um, so I'm going to do this, start doing it without writing it down probably. Uh, negative 6 times negative 1 plus 2, that's 6 plus 2, that's 8. Okay, 0 I can definitely do in my head. If I put a 0 in there, negative 6 times 0 is 0, and 0 plus 2 is 2. If I put a 1 in there, negative 6 times 1 is negative 6, negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. Almost got tricked. Um, if I put a 2 in there for x, negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. Negative 12 plus 2 is negative 10. So now that I have um, my y values that correspond to these x values, these can actually be represented on the coordinate plane as points, right? So this negative 2, 14, that's the point negative 2, comma 14. Now this one actually you won't be able to put on your um, plot for delta math because they just their axes only go from negative 10 to 10 and from 10 to negative 10. So, so you won't be able to put all of them on, but put as many on as you can. So this one I'll start here, negative 1, 8. So negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's that point. A 0, 2 is here. 1, negative 4 is there. And then 2, negative 10. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is there. Once you have your points on, there's a button that you click, and it's really cute. This little ruler shows up. Um, and then the little pencil. And you have to draw a line that goes through all of the points and goes beyond them. And then you put little arrows at the end. Okay, so that is what this equation looks like represented as a line in the coordinate plane.